They could Mario Romero with Romero and Company at the military agency, your Phoenix real estate connection. And thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Today it's my pleasure to introduce Christy Moore, founder and owner of Social Spin. Christy, we've known each other for a long time. Yes. You're out there trying to do all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things in the community. And tell us about yourself, your history, and about social spin. It's, good. it's very interesting what you've done here. Aw, thank you, and thanks for having me. Uh, so I'm a social worker by profession who had a moment and am turning it into a movement. And that moment was when my husband and I went to our new home, which you sold us, thank you. Great customer service. Um, and our washer and dryer, they weren't connected. Okay. And we had tons of laundry to do. So I googled laundromats near me, I jumped in the car, headed over there, frustrated that I was having to do this, and then I walked in and was truly disheartened and disappointed by the state of the laundromat. It was dirty, there were dead cockroaches on the floor, it was hot, no one was talking to each other, aisles of broken machines, and I thought to myself, these laundromats are truly underperforming community assets. Okay. And we have an opportunity to turn them into vibrant social hubs that celebrate arts, culture, and community. Um, so that night, I went home after doing the laundry and I flung open the door, which was pretty dramatic because as you know, we're in a tiny space. Yes. My husband was eating dinner at the time and I said, I'm quitting my job and I'm going to open a laundromat. And it's going to have some kind of social spin to it. I don't know what yet, um, and he just calmly finished his bite and said, call it that, social spin, and open a chain, not just one location. So that was two years ago. We have our first location in Central Phoenix. We have our second location opening in Mesa mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks. Um, and what we do is two things. We use our laundromats as opportunities to connect our customers to care. We project 13,000 people through our doors every year. That's a great way for them to learn about their neighbors, their community services available that they need and they want in a safe and trusted space where they're doing a weekly chore and they have downtime. So we partner with nonprofits to provide job seeking services, healthcare check, voter registration, all in that laundromat. Uh, they come in and deliver that care to our customers. The other thing we do is provide job training experiences to neighbors who have various barriers to employment, um, including youth transitioning out of foster care and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Okay. We've trained dozens of these um, youth and adults and we're proud to have offered permanent jobs to three of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, really wonderful. I know growing up in a small town in Tolleson, it, it was a weekly chore with my mom and along with all the kids, we'd go to the laundromat. Yes. We'd walk to the laundromat because she never drove. Yep. And it's a different community, but we never looked at it like something we had to do. Mm -hmm. But you're right, it is like a meeting space. The same people come through weekly and they kind of know each other, but really don't get involved with each mm -hmm. other. And there's so much that could be shared within that community. Yeah. Now, I know you've done, <clears throat> uh, brought in vo voter registration drive, you've done, I mean, you look at where you're at now, where would you like to take it? Yeah. So we have a plan of five locations in five years. Uh, we have a space that's customer driven, so it's our customers who are letting us know what programs and services they want delivered in that space. Uh, we dream of having our customers own those locations and are still figuring out what that model looks like. Um, and we want to move into a space of training and technical assistance for other laundromat owners. Uh, because here's what's happened. When you and I went to laundromats, they were typically mom and pop shops. Yes. Yes. We knew the owners. They were very much invested in the community. Um, through gentrification and other issues, uh, Laundromats have become primarily owned by wealthy people who have them as passive income. Okay. And so they're highly disengaged from their business. And that is creating undignified and inequitable spaces. 
So what we want to do is shift that to where the customers are driving the culture, the community, and a space that they depend on to do that weekly chore. Well, thank you for spending time with us today and talk about Social Spin, which sounds like a great organization. Can you give us your website and phone number and how our audience can get involved and take it further? Yeah, absolutely. So our website is socialspinlaundromat.com. Uh, we'd love for you to come and do your laundry at our laundromat. We also provide wash and fold service. So we are laundry fairies. You just drop your laundry off, we process it and provide it back to you. Same day, next day service available. Uh, we have free laundry every Wednesday to, for our community from nine to noon. Um, you could sponsor those loads for our neighbors or come party with us. We have a DJ on the payroll. He spins tunes every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. Um, and we also, to support our free laundry, collect unwanted clothes that are then sold to Big Brothers Big Sisters of Arizona. Oh, okay. And so even donating unwanted clothes would go a long way to support our purpose. Great. That's really nice to know. So if you have any questions about this great organization, about real estate or about getting a home loan, give us a call at 602-252-4191. Now, if you have a favorite nonprofit or small business you think would, uh, that you frequent and you love, give me a call and I'd be happy to set up a time to meet with them and also videotape their organization. Thanks for visiting us and see you next time. Make it a great day.